Just because they don't break the bank doesn't mean the best budget graphics cards are light on power. Although GPUs have become much more expensive lately, there are still some decently affordable options that can produce quality results. In this video, we'll break down the top three budget graphics cards on the market this year based on price versus performance and situations they'll be used in. So if you're interested in finding out which budget graphics card will be best for you, stay tuned. We'll have the perfect option for you. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. First up, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super is an excellent entry-level graphics card that offers faster memory, delivering twice the bandwidth over the original GTX 1660, and is comparable to the more expensive GTX 1660 Ti, almost making it irrelevant in comparison. This is a fantastic card for budget gamers. It improves on the GTX 1660, taking the power up a notch while still staying in the budget price range. The GTX 1660 Super stands somewhere between the GTX 1660 and GTX 1660 Ti in terms of performance and price, and considering what it offers in terms of overall value, it could be the best graphics card for you. This card is based on the same TU-116 GPU as both the GTX 1660 and the GTX 1660 Ti, but has the same 1408 CUDA cores as the original 1660. The big difference over the original graphics card is the bump up to GDDR6 video memory, resulting in a boost in memory speed from 8 gigabits per second to 14 gigabits per second. With those 1,408 CUDA cores, a boost clock of 1785 MHz, and 6GB of GDDR6 memory, the GTX 1660 Super is not only suited for esports titles, but also for AAA ones. And it all comes down to that massive amount of GDDR6 RAM and a bandwidth of over 300GB per second that delivers a solid foundation for 1440p or 4K rendering. The high clock frequency also ensures high frame rates in FPS titles, making it a great option if you're planning to build a new mid-range gaming PC. In general gaming performance, the GTX 1660 Super delivers high frame rates, so you can expect some killer performance in most games. And even at 1440p, the GTX 1660 Super can hold its own quite well in most situations. If you're looking for the best graphics card for 1080p gaming, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super is an excellent choice. It strikes a great balance between price and performance, and its 6GB of GDDR6 RAM also provides a good foundation for 1440p gaming. Next up, the AMD Radeon RX 5500 XT, our pick for best overall budget graphics card. The AMD Radeon RX 5500 XT is an affordable graphics card that's built for 1080p gaming and offers solid performance for the price. This graphics card is based on the same RDNA architecture as the AMD Radeon RX 5700 and RX 5700 XT, with 6.4 billion transistors squeezed into a 158 square millimeter die. However, because this is a budget card, some sacrifices have been made to keep the cost down. This card is available with either 8GB or 4GB of VRAM, which is the model we're talking about here. Both RX 5500 XT models have the same basic specifications aside from the amount of onboard VRAM. The RX 5500 XT is a 1080p graphics card, and unlike the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super, it probably won't be pushing any resolution higher than that. You might be able to get some playable frame rates in 1440p with a few games, but when you can get around 63 FPS at 1080p consistently, fussing with settings and constant tweaking just isn't worth the trouble. The Radeon RX 5500 XT brings AMD's Navi GPU, built using the company's next-gen RDNA graphics architecture. The card packs AMD's latest media encoders and display technologies that enable 4K, 144Hz monitors, and is very power efficient too. AMD claims that the RX 5500 XT delivers up to 1.6 times the performance per watt of the two-generation old Radeon RX 480, with 12% more performance at 30% less power draw. But as always, actual performance results vary game to game. If you're searching for a 1080p AMD graphics card, the AMD Radeon RX 5500 XT is a solid choice. It's powerful enough to run most games at 60fps, and if you want to up the frame rate a bit, you can go with the RX 5500 XT model with 8GB of memory. Last but not least, the XFX RX 570. The XFX RX 570 offers a good price to performance ratio and will give you solid FPS in most new games at 1080p, all at an affordable budget price point that will give you the best bang for your buck. The RX 570's dual 90mm fans are colored red and really stand out. They're surrounded by a black plastic cowling and cool a unibody copper heatsink. At the back of the card is an aluminum backplate that will help to dissipate even more heat. 
Like the AMD Radeon RX 5500 XT, the XFX RX 570 is available with either 8GB of VRAM or 4GB, which is the model we're looking at now. Both offer superb performance in 1080p titles, and all but the most intensive VR games should be playable. Like the AMD Radeon RX 5500 XT, gaming at 1440p may be possible, but again, the extensive tweaking doesn't make it feasible, especially when you'll get stable 60fps gameplay at a 1080p resolution right out of the box. Designed for gamers and built on the future-ready Polaris architecture, the RX 570 will let you play your favorite games at high settings at 1080p, from the latest esports games and MOBAs to the most popular, graphically intensive AAA titles. With DirectX 12 performance, asynchronous shaders, game-ready drivers, and frequent software improvements, you can feel confident that your investment will last for years to come. This card has a speedy 1264-1284 MHz core, giving it a 96 MHz advantage over a stock clocked card, and has future upgrade capabilities with HDMI 2.0b and DisplayPort 1.3-1.4 features that can enable the latest generation of displays to deliver beautiful beyond HD, HDR, and ultra-smooth FreeSync experiences. If you're looking for a high-performance, budget graphics card that's designed for 1080p gaming, the XFX RX 570 is a great choice. Like the AMD Radeon RX 5500 XT, it's available with 4 or 8 gigabytes of VRAM and offers some useful future upgrade capabilities too. If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. Links to all the products mentioned are in the description below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on the latest and greatest in tech. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.